Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to theme Windows 11 like Windows 7. A few months ago, I did a video on theming Windows 10 to look like Windows 7. However, those softwares for Windows 10 simply don't work anymore in Windows 11, as there's been significant changes to the DWM. So in this video, I've compiled just four softwares that allow us to completely change Windows 11 into Windows 7. The first thing we have to do is download this. I will include it in the description. It's nothing bad. It's simply just a few softwares that I downloaded, and you can download them all for yourself on the internet. I'll show you what they are once this extracts. So here are the simple softwares. We have Start All Back, Window Blinds 10, Windows 7 Games for Windows 10 and 8, and a just wallpaper category. So if you don't feel comfortable downloading this, you can download all of these from the internet. However, if you don't want to search for them, I've simply compiled all of them into just a zip file for you to download. So the first thing that we're going to do is simply open the wallpaper category, select all, and then set them as desktop background. Obviously, this is a very minimal change. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is install Start All Back. Start All Back is a software that essentially allows us to get the Windows 7 taskbar, Windows 7 start menu, and all kinds of those things back. And this software really does a lot of the work for us. So here, you can go ahead and select whatever you want. You can select Proper 11, which is the Windows 11 themed, the Kinda 10, which also changes the taskbar, and Remastered 7. Obviously, we are going to choose Remastered 7, which looks the most like Windows 7. But of course, the customization doesn't stop there. We can go ahead and choose things in our Start menu. Now, of course, you can change this however you would like. Whatever you want to do, you can change here. This is completely up to you. Again, in the taskbar, we can change our Start icon to whatever we'd like it to be. However, I'm going to leave it as the Windows 7 Orb. We could also choose our icons to be centered with dynamic transparency or segment our taskbar, but of course we're going to leave it just like our regular Windows 7, just for the effect. And in the Explorer, I highly recommend sticking to the Windows 7 command bar as it looks pretty much exactly like Windows 7. You remove that, I don't know what it's called, it's not ribbon UI, but whatever that Windows 11 thing is, you completely get rid of it and it goes back to the 7 command bar. And of course, in advanced, you can completely custom color the start menu to whatever you'd like it to be. So if we want it to be just a red, color it to be red. So this is similar to what we found in the control panel in Windows 7. However, just for this video, we're going to switch it back to white and then back change the opacity back down. Now, start all back is an evaluation, so you do have 30 days to try it out before you have to buy it. However, unfortunately, that is how it is for most of the software in this video. I could not find any free alternatives that work on Windows 11 as it's such a new operating system. So yeah, I would recommend sticking in here for about 20 minutes, just playing around with things and getting things to look exactly the way you want them. The next thing that we're going to install is the Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and 8. This does also work on Windows 11, and this is the only software that I kept from my Windows 10 video to the Windows 11 video. So once again, just go ahead and click through the installer, and you did get the option to choose what games you would like to install, however, we just skipped over that. And now if we check in our Windows 7 start menu, under games, we can launch any game that was included in Windows 7, like Purple Place, we can choose that. The classic Minesweeper is also here. And overall, the games are back. Now, if you're perfectly comfortable with this, then stick with it. Personally, I don't mind the Windows 11 top bar and whatever you want to call that. However, there's some people that don't like it. And in my last video, there was a simple way where we could download a new theme and just open it. However, because there's changes to the Windows 11 DWM, we can't just install that same theme. So this is where things get a little bit tricky because there are no good alternatives to the Windows 11 top bar. So the best thing that we have is Window Blinds 10. Window Blinds 10 is only recommended for Windows 10 users, I believe that are on 2004 or older. However, it does work on Windows 11. It is a little bit glitchy, although if you really want to go all out, you can go ahead and install this. Just know that myself or Window Blinds is not responsible for any damage this may cause to your computer because you're using it on an unsupported version of Windows. And there are glitches with this as I've seen in my testing and just agree to the software terms and go ahead and install. The installer for window blinds does take a little bit because it has to copy so many files over, 
so just go ahead and let it run. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a software that requires a 30-day trial or a purchase. Like I said, I couldn't find any better free alternatives, so this theme is kind of expensive, but you can use a 30-day trial just to kind of get the effect. Once you've went in your email and activated your 30-day trial, we can go ahead and close out of that and click finish. And now in window blinds, there are a ton of cool themes that you can check out if you want to. Like there is a macOS theme, a Windows 8 theme, an Eva theme, corporate. There's all kinds of different themes. Although the one we're interested in is Diamond as it is the closest to Windows 7. So we can go ahead and click apply style to desktop and then click yes. Now there are some conflicts between window blinds and the start is back. So we are just going to have to ignore those for now. Now immediately after you apply a theme, we can see that some things down here in our system tray look off. Um, let's just sign out really quick and sign back in, and then that should fix our problem right up. And yeah, so the coloring is off a little bit, however, it did fix our issue down there. And so, this is our Windows 7 theme for Windows 11. Obviously, th some things aren't right, especially if you installed window blinds. As you'll notice, we'll open the file explorer, and it does have a white border around it if it's windowed, but if it's full screen, it does look exactly the same. It looks perfect. Um, same thing with like the Microsoft Store. You'll notice that the theme at the top covers up the search bar. Um, so, of course, things aren't perfect. Right? There's no good Windows 7 themes for Windows 11 right now. This is the best thing that I could come up with. So let's just take a look at actually what we've done. Here is our action center. It does have our calendar and our notifications. Clicking on the time right here does bring up the legacy time and date thing from Windows 7. Clicking on volume brings up a legacy Windows 7 volume slider. And clicking on network does bring up that Chrome OS like action center thing. Now, some things that we didn't change are of course icons. I wanted to leave the icons alone because I really like the Windows 11 icons. However, there are icon packs that I'm sure are really easy to change on Windows 11. I kept all of the Windows 11 sounds the same. So that's simply just because I like the sounds. One last thing you can also do is hide the things on the taskbar like widgets and the chat icon and even the search icon so it looks even more like Windows 7. Although if you'll notice, all of the new context menus are gone. You have the classic right click on the taskbar, you have no more new context on the desktop, and even in File Explorer, it is gone as well. This is because I believe Start is Back changed them all to the legacy Windows 7 versions. So, would I use this as my daily driver? No, I really don't think I would. However, it is a cool thing to see that we can actually do this. And just to show, it's not using too much memory. We're using three gigabytes at idle. And I totally forgot to see how much it uses before the installation of the theme. Although nothing is really using a ton of our memory except the Windows Explorer. The Windows Explorer is using a lot of our CPU, but that's probably because of the Aero theme. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. Performance is definitely going to be affected, but it's not gonna be affected a ton. So just keep that in mind as you install this theme. And so with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And if you have a better way to theme Windows 11 to look like Windows 7, please let me know in the comments down below and I will make some updates to this video, although this is the best thing I could find for right now. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.